So I picked up a MacBook the other day, and it's got what's known as an EFI password on it, which is basically a BIOS level password. Somebody bought this computer and used it and put a BIOS password on it, which I don't know. I bought it off a reseller and I don't know who the original owner was. And that's where we're at today. But there's a solution. For some of these older MacBooks, you can actually replace or even reprogram the original EFI chip, which is this little guy right here. With a little bit of soldering skills and um, actually a hot air machine because a soldering iron, it ain't gonna work. You're gonna just destroy it. So I am at my friend's house. We're going to replace this EFI chip that I managed to pick up a replacement for on eBay for, I think, 15 bucks. So let's get to it. So obviously we're gonna start by removing the 10 screws at the bottom of the MacBook, removing the bottom plate, and then we have access to our motherboard. There's way too many screws to count to get the motherboard out, as well as way too many fragile ribbon cables and, and other connectors. The fan's gotta come out, the ram's gotta come out, all sorts of things. Once the motherboard's out, it, it's actually pretty straightforward. Once you find the chip, we heated ours up to, I believe, 280. We got that solder hot liquid, and we managed to pull that EFI chip off pretty easily. Once it was off, we did add a little bit of flux to the board. That's just going to help the solder uh, it, it stick to whatever we put on there. Added a little more solder to the pads to make sure we have something to grab onto. Reheated with the heat gun. And the important part here is to not lose the chip because we almost did. But the important part here is to line it up the same way. There's actually a little indicator on the chip and the old chip that tells you where pin one is. And pin one's gotta go in the same spot, otherwise, it's not gonna work. So once we had it in place, we removed heat, held it in place as, uh, for a few seconds just to make sure the uh, solder would cool and be solid again. We reheated everything with the soldering iron just to make sure everything was good and solid. The last thing we want is to set this thing down, one of those solder pad breaks, and then we're SOL again. Right back to square one, basically. Then it's just a matter of reassembling it. And this was the most tedious part because there are a couple of different size screws. You gotta get them in the right place, otherwise you can break something. And well, that's not a good day either. Okay, we got, we got everything put back together. The new EFI chip has, is on. The old one is here, which you can't see because it's super tiny, but I wouldn't put it in your mouth because it might kill you. Anyway, Jose, it looks like you did a pretty good job. So we got it all put back together. With the new chip though, we do have to reset, reset the SMC, which is on this one, uh, command option PR. Where's the R? Oh, 
Okay, looks like we're reset and we are gonna hold our alt to open up our recovery, hopefully. Okay, so this is a 2009 MacBook, which drew a blank on a second ago. Alt is gonna open up your available bootable devices, not the internet recovery. That's a whole different key combo, but there's no EFI lock. Otherwise we would not have gotten this far. So at this point, it's just a matter of reinstalling Mac OS because there's nothing on there right now, and uh, then it's good to go. You got anything to add? Anyway, we are not professionals. This is not instructions or any how-to or anything. This is more of a fun, I got a cheap MacBook and wanted to see if it was usable, and at this point I think it is, so we had fun. We learned something with the hot air. Don't put it in your eye. And maybe you learned something too. Because just because something's broken doesn't mean it's broken. That was a successful EFI transplant. What you think? Think about what? I don't know. Say something we can quote you on for your OnlyFans. OnlyFans? Oh. <laughs> Come on, we're waiting. You boy. Okay, anyway. We're booting windows. On a MacBook. Because we can! Anyway, that's all I got for today. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, um, comment, I guess. There's an Instagram page. You can check out Jose. I'm going to link his personal OnlyFans account in the description. And you enjoy the rest of your day.